This episode of LolMath is brought to you by UltimateGameDB.com, the best place to go for aggregated game reviews and ridiculous opinions, and the following patrons at Patreon.com slash TrampolineTales. In League of Legends, Braum is the 119th champion. On today's episode of LolMath, we'll be taking a look at his abilities and the math behind them. Let's take a look at Braum's abilities now. Braum's passive ability, Concussive Blows, will add stacks to targets that Braum auto-attacks. If a target has at least one stack of Concussive Blows on them, they will have another stack applied when auto-attacked by champions on Braum's team. If a target reaches 4 stacks, they will be stunned for a length between 1.25 and 1.75 seconds, depending on Braum's current level. They will also be dealt magic damage equal to 60, plus Braum's current level times 10. After being stunned, enemy targets cannot have stacks of concussive blows applied to them from any source for the next 8-6 to six seconds, depending on Braum's current level. However, any sources of damage that would apply stacks of concussive blows during this time will deal magic damage equal to 12 plus Braum's current level times 2 instead. Winter's Bite costs mana equal to 50 plus Braum's current level times 5. It has a cooldown equal to 11 seconds minus the ability's current level. When cast, Braum will fire ice in an 1000 unit line which will apply 70% decaying slow on the first enemy hit for 2 seconds. A stack of concussive blows will also be applied. The target will also be dealt magic damage equal to 35, plus the ability's current level times 45, plus Braum's maximum health times 0.025. Stand Behind Me costs mana equal to 20, plus Braum's current level times 10. It has a cooldown equal to 15 seconds, minus the ability's current level. When cast, Braum will leap to a target ally within 500 units, granting them bonus armor and magic resistance for 3 seconds equal to 17.5, plus the ability's current level times 2.5, plus Braum's resistances times 0.135, plus the ability's current level times 0.015. Unbreakable costs mana equal to 25, plus Braum's current level times 5. It has a cooldown equal to 20 seconds, minus the ability's current level times 2 seconds. When cast, Braum will raise his shield in a target direction, granting him 10% bonus movement speed and reducing all non-tower and non-true damage Braum takes by 27.5%, plus the ability's current level times 2.5%. The first damage dealt to Braum from a champion after the ability cast will negate all damage that would be dealt, although crowd control effects will still be applied. Braum's shield will also intercept projectile attacks other than tower shots, which would hit an allied champion. The damage will be dealt to Braum instead. Finally, the shield will remain raised over the course of a 2.75 second duration, plus 0.25 seconds times the ability's current level. Braum's ultimate ability, Glacial Fissure, costs 100 mana and has a cooldown equal to 160 seconds, minus the ability's current level times 20 seconds. When cast, Braum will deal magic damage to all enemies in a 1250 unit line equal to 50, plus the ability's current level times 100, plus Braum's ability power times 0.6. Enemies near Braum when he casts the ability will be knocked up for 1.5 seconds. Enemies in the 1250 unit line will be knocked up for 0.25 seconds. If no enemy champions are knocked up for 1.5 seconds from the initial ability cast, the first enemy champion hit by the line will be knocked up for 1.5 seconds instead. After the ability is cast, a line of ice will remain for 4 seconds, slowing enemies by 60% while they are in the area and for an extra 1.5 seconds after they exit it. Overall, Braum's abilities allow him to build very defensive stats and still be useful in a large amount of team compositions. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LolMath episode. You can also like LolMath on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, watch me livestream on Twitch, and support my content on Patreon. Thanks for watching this episode of LolMath.